As the sun draws near to the horizon, the stony corals of the flower gardens prepare for their annual mass spawning. Somehow timed to coincide with the phase of the moon, the coral polyps release their bundles of eggs and sperm, beginning on the eighth night after the August full moon. These tiny animals are spread over a 300 acre area of the East and West Flower Gardens reefs, as well as along the Florida coast, the Grand Bahamas, and throughout the Caribbean Sea. Somehow, every coral in the Northern Hemisphere knows this is the time to spawn. This colony of female brain coral is just releasing its eggs, which will drift with the current, eventually finding their way to the sperm of male brain coral, which is also drifting with the current. Some species are hermaphroditic, releasing their bundles of eggs and sperm together, while other species release bundles of eggs and sperm separately. The thousands of eggs released by this brain coral will drift to the surface where they will accumulate with millions of other eggs from other colonies. The tiny bundles will break up at the surface where they will be fertilized by the sperm from another colony. Drifting for days, the emerging coral polyps may settle to the bottom where adequate sunlight, warm water temperatures, and a rigid surface for attaching will allow the polyps to colonize and flourish possibly the beginnings of a new reef. Within minutes after spawning, the water is clouded with packets of eggs and sperm. The surface has become milky, followed by a pungent odor, which will soon clear up as the newly fertilized eggs drift away with the current, only to become heavy again with a spawn from another species. Every colony is made up of thousands of individual coral polyps, each taking its turn to ensure the survival of its species. Coral polyps living in colonies also act as one organism. Beneath their hard calcium carbonate skeletons, their gelatinous cup-shaped bodies become interlocked as they grow. This highly evolved communal relationship allows every polyp the ability to signal the adjoining polyp. When spawning occurs, the entire colony is signaled to release its bundle of eggs. Surprisingly, fish do not feed on the eggs. Even though an abundance of eggs is released every year, the fish living around the reef have not developed a taste for the tiny morsels. However, the camera did catch this brittle starfish seemingly scooping up armloads of eggs just before making a quick dash out of the camera's lights. Highly elusive, brittle starfish are seldom seen sitting on top of coral formations. Brittle starfish also spawn during this time crawling up on top of mounds of coral, just as this one has done. They stand up on all five legs, casting a stream of bright red eggs adrift into the water. 